You want some news for multiverses? I got some news about multiverses. What is going on, multiversers? Welcome back to the channel. We actually have a little bit of news. Now, it might not be the next playtest date or the release date, but we still got a little bit of news, and uh, I got three different things for you guys today. And I think all of them are somewhat... It, it, it's good to learn about this stuff, right? So, uh, we know the famous quote from the reveal trailer, right? Anyone and anything is possible. And that people's minds run wild, right? With imagination. As it should. All right, cool. But just, you know, don't get too ahead of yourself. Because anyone and anything is possible. Yeah, the door's open for that. But it doesn't mean the door's going to always stay open. The door might get slammed shut before you even know it's an option. But uh, here's, here's... Somebody asked about third parties. That's where I'm kind of getting here. So, first thing is the question from uh, this person on JD, JD Logo. All right, JD Logo 1. On Twitter, ask Tony, if you go through a third-party plan for multiverses, which company would you start with? Sega, since Warner Media included Sonic in OKKO OK and LEGO Dimensions and gave Sonic a TV show on Cartoon Network, or would they go with Universal, Warner Brothers' best friend? So they're essentially saying, which company would you approach first for uh, third-party characters? And, I mean, you can't really... Tony's not going to give that away if they have plans for that. You're not... Well, yeah, we're going to focus on just Sega, and then everyone's going to say, oh, Tony confirmed Sega is going to have... No, no, he's, he can't give away that. But what he does say is actually maybe a bit more interesting here. They, We have some plans, but we'll see what happens. Now, let that sink in real quick, because we don't need to see somebody making a video going, third-party characters confirmed. No, they're not. Not confirmed. But there's plans. Plans can always fall apart. Plans might not always come to fruition. But they they're, they have some plans. They'll see what happens with it. And finishing off here, there's a lot of work that goes into something like this. So we're definitely not ready to reveal that yet. This is my take right here. My personal take. Not what Tony said. So let's not confuse words. But what I read from this is, yes, he said they have some plans, which is nice. It's good to hear that they might be reaching out to other third-party companies to get some special guest characters. But what I read into this is, don't expect third-party characters for base roster or anything like that. They probably haven't even started working on characters, uh, third-party characters in general at all. That's like something like, it's on the to-do list, but it's like further down the to-do list. It's not the biggest priority right, uh, right now for them. So I imagine it more in the line of, say multiverses releases and it's you know received well by the community it's got a very solid player base the hype is continuing and then post launch maybe one of the first few characters does become a third party character that way the hype is still there and oh my god they just got this character i think that's what i'm reading into this i could be completely wrong but that's kind of what i see in this but uh still nonetheless if my memory serves correctly this is kind of the first time that He's really, or anybody from Player First Games has kind of addressed third parties. So he says they have a plan, which is good, but not a confirmation, but plan is in place. That's good. That's good nonetheless. Question number two is all about when is the next, like, when's the second trailer? They did tell us they're working on it, right? So Ben 10 for Multiverses, I know you watched some of, the, some of my videos, so if you watch this one, Good question. Great question, buddy. But um, so Ben 10 from Multiverses here asks Tony, hey, Tony, any idea when the second trailer will release? Again, they already told us the second one is in the works, right? So great question. And luckily, Tony gives us an answer. Surprising Tony gives us an answer. What? No devs do that. That's so weird. But uh, sadly, he does say no hard dates yet. Dang it. But whatever. Was that loud? It was right next to my microphone. Sorry. <laughs> but uh, no hard dates yet. We've been focused on working on the game. Now, a little bit of good news. But we're starting to get more stable. So we can shift our focus a bit. Okay. Okay. Those changes that they've probably been making from the feedback from the alpha tech test, right? Those changes that they started to implement and change and make whatever. It looks like they're making pretty good progress, so they might be able to, to say, all right, here, 100% of our staff was working on this. All right, maybe 80% of our staff are still going to work on this. Now we'll shift 20% of them over to this next thing. So that's good. Again, yeah, no hard date for uh, the second reveal trailer. 
it's it sucks. I was thinking maybe March, but uh, I might even push my 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 prediction for that back. But uh, I'm hoping for something in March. I really don't think we're getting anything for the rest of February besides these little questions that Tony will answer. I don't think we're not going to get a play test date. We're not going to get a release date. We're not going to get the in the next trailer. I think mid March, maybe, maybe, but we'll see. Hopefully, <laughs> but um, so it, it's good news, bad news depending on how you want to look at it, but I'm going to look at this as, it's a good thing. It's a good thing, right? They're making good progress, and isn't that all we can really hope for right now? They're making progress. Once they make enough progress, then we will get the update to the progress that we want to know. The reveal trailer and the next playtest and all that sort of stuff. More characters. Once they get that progress, we get our progress that we want from them. So we'll get our prog the progress report that we want from them. That, that's a good way to put that. And third and final question that uh, we have, or a little news informant, what do you, whatever you want to call it. But third thing today is about original characters. Could we be seeing more of them? Now, we already know Rain Dog is in the roster, original character, which is good. I do believe Tony or somebody has touched on this a little bit where they, they were asked about could there be more. I don't remember the exact answer, but luckily we have an updated version, right? Hello, Tony. I don't know if anyone's asked it before, but do you guys plan to add more original characters beyond Rain Dog to the game? Okay, it's an interesting question, right? So Tony gives us the answer of, I hope so. It would be a nice creative outlet for the team. And you know what? It kind of raises an interesting question, right? Would people be open to the idea of more original characters? I can only speak for myself here, and I will say yes. But, but... But make sure we get plenty of Warner Brothers characters first. I get this is a Warner Brothers fighting game, and I get that they, ha I guess they the player first games, they got the freedom to make more original characters. But when the, the focus is primarily Warner Brothers properties, I think that's where the main focus should be. I don't mind. Say, say this game gets consistent content updates, characters, and all that stuff. Say for five years. Just as an example, say for five years, but every year they put out one original character. I think I'd be okay with that. That's not too bad. I mean, if they release a character every two months, for example, right? Every character. So that's six characters a year. One of them happens to be an original character. I think that's okay. Maybe uh, maybe it's a little much. Maybe, maybe one every two years or something like that. Whatever it might be. I'm okay with that personally, but again, I want more focus to be on Warner Brothers properties, because again, that's kind of the whole point of this. But then again, it is called multiverses, right? So it's good that the, the team could possibly have a nice little different creative outlet to go with. Like Tony says here, it's uh, instead of, all right, we have this character, we know what they do, so let's just implement that. But when you get to create something from scratch, that's even more enticing that's even uh, that's a little bit more fun right you're like we got something well let's start laying the bricks here let's see what uh well, let's see what we can come up with right got an idea for this we want the character because again remember the characters in this game are all different play styles we got the assassin and bruiser tank and that sort of stuff so you can kind of pick one aspect and maybe the the team wants to go with a tank build for a character for an original character and go cool we have an idea for a tank and then we can start building upon that so i think that would be it's a it's a good idea but again stay more focused on majority for wb characters and then possibly third party characters and then original characters uh, that would be my order but uh there we go that's going to be it for today a uh, nice little news update sort of thing i consider this news i hope some of you do too but uh that's gonna be it for this one i hope you guys enjoyed as always should be tomorrow unless something else randomly pops up tomorrow i think i will have my newest um uh move set uh, video you'll have to find out the character for tomorrow i can't spoil that i can't give that away but the new character move set uh video will be tomorrow either way that's tomorrow today's today today's wrapping up hope you guys enjoyed i guess i'll see you when i'm looking at you it's so good.